Hassan. My hopes and dreams travel with you. He'll be an outcast. I'll kill him. How? He'll be a god to them. What if a child dreamed of becoming something other than what society had intended? What if a child aspired to something greater? My son was in the bus. He saw what Clark did. You're the answer, son. You're the answer to are we alone in the universe. Can I just keep pretending I'm your son? You are my son. And I have to believe that you were sent here for a reason. And even if it takes the rest of your life, you owe it to yourself to find out what that reason is. How do you find someone who has spent a lifetime covering his tracks? For some, he was a guardian angel. For others, a ghost who never quite fit in. You will give the people of Earth an ideal to strive towards. They will race behind you. They will stumble. They will fall. But in time, they will join you in the sun. In time, you will help them accomplish wonders. You believe your son is safe? I will find him! My father believed if the world found out who I really was, they'd reject me. He was convinced that the world wasn't ready. What do you think? What's the S stand for? It's not an S. On my world, it means hope. Well, here it's an S. How about... Excuse me. Well, you'll never look at a homeless person the same way again, because it could be Superman. Yes, yesterday for the um, General Zod teaser, I had said, where is the big flashy Man of Steel trailer? And Warner Brothers had one planned. Apparently the General Zod teaser was just that, ramping up to their big trailer reveal. Uh, the good news is, is that online I see that many of you are very, very happy with this trailer. Uh, and I, I have to say, you know what, this, I just don't like the direction they're taking with Man of Steel. Uh, they did show more action, which I had requested, as many of you pointed out, but I felt that the action was uh, very close up. You know, you couldn't really see it, uh, which I didn't like. I, I don't like the dark color palette, which is continuing. It reminds me a lot of a video game, actually. Uh, and, I mean, maybe that's the color palette of the DC Cinematic Universe. Who knows? And, it, you know, it works for Batman. But I was having a conversation with some friends of mine in a comic book, in Midtown Comics, actually, uh, a week or so ago, and we all agreed that Superman is supposed to be the opposite of Batman. You know, they are literally night and day, uh, yin and yang. Uh, so I question the decision to take the same approach stylistically and thematically that Nolan took with his Batman films. Um, Look, I, I, I see a lot of your comments in the, in the video section. I, I do go through those and read them. Uh, I appreciate all of them, even the ones that are pretty mean. <laughs> uh, I'm not a Marvel fangirl. I like both. I, I want both companies to, uh, to succeed. But, uh, you know, you have to admit that DC so far, with the exception of the Batman films, is not succeeding. So I address that in my videos because it's the truth. Uh, and... I, I, you know, I do see problems with Man of Steel from a business perspective. Uh, I, and I, but I want to make that clear, make it clear that I'm not 
and taking any joy out of saying bad things about Man of Steel, I would love for there to be a great Superman movie. And Man of Steel could still be successful. And I will be one of the first people to admit it. I, as you all know, that's the great thing here. Box office numbers can't be disputed. Uh, I'm seeing a kind of, you know, a really contentious rivalry develop here between Marvel and DC movies uh, that's much worse than the rivalry between the comics. Uh, but the good news is that in the movie universe, there will be a victor. Some movie will gross more at the box office, and that'll be that'll be how it'll be decided. So, uh, but I would urge you, eat, not just with me, but with, with anyone you meet in real life, your friends, just because they don't have the same opinion on a movie as you do, just shouldn't take away from your enjoyment of the film, and doesn't necessarily mean the film is is not as wonderful as you want it to be. Uh, you know, these are films. Not everybody has the same opinion. And also, I would tell you that just because a director made one great movie or, or a directed one great movie and is producing this other one, you know, like Christopher Nolan, you know, it, it, it doesn't mean that every movie they make is going to be wonderful. By that logic, you know, everybody, everybody would be praising Godfather Part Three, uh, which is clearly inferior to the first two films, despite having the same talent attached. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Sometimes the choice just is a mistake. Uh, and also, you know, a lot of people covered this when The Dark Knight Rises came out, that there is just such hatred from the fanboy community towards anybody who didn't just say The Dark Knight Rises was the best film ever made, you know, with critics getting threats and having to shut down the comment section on Rotten Tomatoes, uh, that, it, you know, it really cast a pall over the film. And I would hope that that does not happen with Man of Steel, because it really... It, it makes it not a, a fun experience. And at the very least, even if I don't love Man of Steel, and even if I don't think it's a great movie, I still want to have a, I still want to enjoy the experience of going. I still want to have a nice time, a nice time talking about it with you. So let's keep that in mind. Uh, so okay, okay. So I, I just wanted to point that out because I think some of you are getting a little out of control, especially because I don't think I've done anything to instigate that because I've been very even-handed in my comments. I, you know, as I said, I'm not like. Man of Steel bashing, as some of you claim. I'm just, I'm just telling you my opinion and backing it up with, you know, a good argument. I, you know, I don't just make statements and throw them out there. So let's make some statements about the new Man of Steel uh, trailer. Uh, I, I had pointed out that, you know, my Man of Steel, by the way, a lot of you were saying you like Superman Earth 1. I didn't like that story. I, I really disliked Superman Earth 1 and 2. It just didn't work for me. My Superman is Superman for All Seasons, Superman the Animated Series, the Richard Donner film, uh, one and two. Though I don't think those films, by the way, the Donner films are by any means perfect, and I don't want I don't necessarily think I don't certainly don't want Superman Returns. Someone in the comments keeps writing that I want Superman Returns. That was a horrible film, except for the action sequences, which I thought were really very well done and showed that special effects were marching towards a Superman that was believable. Although, interestingly, that said, with the special effects in this movie, as I said, the movie looked like a video game, not just in the lighting, but in the way Superman moves. I don't know quite why we can believe other things in comic book movies, but for some reason, making Superman believable is difficult. Uh, you know, when he's that close-up punching scene at the end of the trailer, <clears throat> looks just like a first-person video game to me, and I think uh, special effects-wise does as well. I don't think it has... It, there's like, there's um, something about it that takes me out of it. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, but I will say, by the way, that I like the LexCorp sign that you can see at the very... Uh, someone pointed that out also. At 218 in the trailer, there's a LexCorp sign in the building. Uh, I heard a rumor that Lex will make an appearance in the movie, and I like that because it makes... You know, it's almost like, a, again, like a video game Easter egg, uh, but also I think maybe it alludes to the fact that DC is maybe finally getting serious about building their cinematic universe. So that I like. Uh, it looks to me, you know, we've all heard the, we've all heard Zack Snyder say there's no Krypton in this movie, I'm Kryptonite in this movie. Uh, there might be Kryptonite later, but there's no Kryptonite here. Also, you see that uh, clearly Lois has been looking for Superman, uh, or this, this uh, guardian angel for some time. It's, it's a story of hers that's developing. And it looks like, and you know, a lot of people are, you know, guessing that maybe Clark Kent uh, doesn't, the Clark Kent reporter for the Daily Planet won't exist. Maybe he will at the end of the film. I don't know. I can see them maybe being like the, him putting on glasses and nobody knowing who he is is silly. But I have to say that to not have the reporter side of Superman is, would be a mistake because that's a big part of Clark Kent's personality. And, and I think to do away with Clark Kent, which is, to me, the Superman character, you know, there's, there's that famous thing that's where, you know, 
with the Batman mythos, Batman is the real person and Bruce Wayne is the mask, but in the Superman mythos, Superman is the mask and Clark Kent is the real person. So to do away with Clark Kent, I would not be pleased with. Uh, I think that Grant Morrison in Action Comics did an interesting idea where he made um, Clark Kent more of a radical blogger, which I think I would be open to, uh, so maybe they'll touch on that here. I don't know. I, I, I don't like... I do like the religious aspects or the play that came up in Grant Morrison's All-Star Superman, but I would say that for Man of Steel, this, it wears, I think it wears its religious overtones. Or Yeah, they're overtones. They're not undertones. That's the whole problem. They're a little bit too on the nose. Uh, a lot of motivational speaking in the movie. Uh, a little bit too much self-awareness. To me, you know, Clark Kent isn't... Superman isn't a messiah. I don't like, I don't like Jesus Superman. I like Farm Boy Superman. I like Farm Boy in the Big City Superman. That's what I, that's the, that's, but that's what I like personally. We'll see what people like with this movie. There is clearly a fan base for it because Earth One did sell well for a Superman comic. Uh, but I, I would like to point out though, with the exception of the Batman movies, the Nolan's Batman movies, almost all of the films in the top, that are in the billion dollar club are bright, brighter films, you know, because I think that that has the widest net commercially. That's what gets families in. That's what gets the casual fan in. And I think with Superman, that's what would get in the fan who, you know, the, the older generations that, that like the older Superman and aren't tuned into this. So I think that Man of Steel has done a fantastic job appealing to the Nolan fan base, like really a fan. Although I don't know, you guys really are, are just so rabid sometimes. I don't know how, what it would take to, to not make you like the film sometimes. I mean, I, I'm just honestly putting that out there. And I'm asking you to say, you know, what would disappoint you about a Superman movie? Uh, and I do think it's a little unfortunate and a little sad that so many of you feel you can't relate to a farm boy Superman, Clark Kent, who is more positive and optimistic. I, I mean, I think that dark characters are great. I think it works wonderful with Batman. As I said uh, with the General Zog review, The Dark Knight is one of my three favorite films of all time alongside Rear Window and Raising Arizona. Uh, but I don't, want, I don't want a Batman Superman. So that's what I think here. I, I think that this Man of Steel has taken on such a large component outside of the movie itself with this, uh, this fighting online that I hope it doesn't bog down the film. As for the film itself, I don't like... I don't like what they're doing with it. It's not my Superman. It might be your Superman. Uh, it does have the action. And I don't think it even has the action, really, that I asked for. This has it has some action, but the t shots are very close up. We're not really getting to see it. And, you know, I'm, I'm disappointed. I'll see it, but, you know, and... I, you know what? I, and some of you said, well, what would it take for you, Grace, to like this? And I'm t I told you, I told you with this review, a brighter, uh, more optimistic, you know, Superman's supposed to represent, you know, as he said, as a symbol of hope. I can't believe he's literally wearing a Kryptonian symbol of hope on his chest. I mean, that's just really unsubtle. But, you know, he is supposed to represent that subtly. And, but not, I don't want, I don't like this very religious overtone, as, as I said. Uh, I prefer more, you know, the John Wayne type of optimism, you know, of like, pick yourself up and keep going. So clearly that's not, that, that's clearly not the choice that's been made here. And they're not going to make it because, you, you know, you have to make a decision here. And so they didn't make the Superman movie for me. As I've said many times, I think Spielberg would make this kind of Superman movie I want. James Cameron, J.J. Abrams. Uh, even I think Duncan Jones might have been, uh, would have been, been my choice to direct the film. And he was up for the up for the gig, but they went with Zack Snyder, who was also, as we all know, a very dark, stylistic filmmaker. Uh, but, but we will see. We will see. So, again, try to be civil in your comments. Let's, let's, let's all have a great time talking about this and make Man of Steel. You know, let's not have people going into the theater feeling bullied and, you know, like they just can't enjoy the movie and take away from it what they will and what they want. So, Thank you for asking for my review. I know this is a very long one, but clearly there's a lot to discuss here, and I look forward to continuing to read your comments down below. And, oh, finally, I don't complain about every trailer. I've, I've liked quite a few. Here's a list of the trailers that I've reviewed recently that I like quite a bit. Uh, and um, don't, you know, be a good journalist yourself. Don't, don't slander. Use, use facts. Okay, thanks for watching. All right, talk to you soon about other trailers. Bye.